<clears throat> so I'm writing this book right now. Um, I'm not a writer by any means, but I know it's just something I've been feeling like doing for a long time and just couldn't see myself doing it. And then I don't know, recently it just made sense and I started writing and I'm actually wrote everything I'm just going back through now and just kind of refining stuff but I'm on this part right now that um, lit up in my spirit and just felt like sharing on it it's where Jesus was talking about he said if you're going to be my disciple uh, then you if you're going to follow me he said you're going to have to deny yourself All right, let me say it like this if any man is going to come after me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me now a couple of things I want to point out of that is or that I want to point out about that verse is his cross and denying yourself now his cross first of all the cross represents assignment it represents purpose that's what Jesus's uh, assignment was when he came into the earth it was the whole reason he came to the earth was to go to the cross and die for our sins and we all understand that and so the cross is a picture of our assignment and we all have a cross to bear notice Jesus said his cross notice he personalized it he didn't say let him take up the cross but he said his cross and so basically what Jesus was letting us know is we all have a personal cross a cross that's personalized for us an assignment that is personalized for us you know there's not one assignment for across the board for you know in general that is for everyone now there are general things that we all need to do are called to do heal the sick cast out devils share the gospel you know those those type of things but each person has his own personal assignment that's different than anybody else's that he has to walk out now Jesus said this in order for you to walk out your assignment take up your cross you've got to deny yourself now this I think this is the major key I want to share about is the denying of self because it has to be done in order to take up the cross and the reason that we've got to deny ourselves in order to take up our cross or fulfill our assignment is the cross is designed to kill self Jesus cross killed him it took his life now it gave him and gave us a new life but it killed self and you've got to understand that about your assignment your assignment will destroy self it will kill self self cannot survive when you are taking up your cross and fulfilling your assignment in the earth self will fight against your assignment and we see this with Jesus, you know, before he went to the cross, he was in the garden praying. And I'm going to paraphrase this, but he said, Father, if there's any other way for me to do this that you've called me to do, let this cup pass from me, this bitter cup of death. Let it pass from me. Let there be another way, God. Then he said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And so what did he have to do there in the garden? He had to deny himself. I think the garden was just as significant as the cross because the garden was the place where he overcame self so that he could go to the cross and do what he needed to do. If he lost that battle, well, we'd be in trouble today. But he won that battle. And 
he had to deny self because self didn't want to suffer man self didn't want to be beat self didn't want to go to hell but he denied self so he could fulfill his assignment and that's that's what we've got to do we've got to deny self now the word deny and I think this is where we've got to, to, to understand it and see it. The word deny there where Jesus was talking. If you look that up in the Greek. The Greek word that's translated to de deny has a definition of um, to lose sight of one's own interests. Now that stuck out to me when I was studying because I like how that puts it because I know when it says deny self, it sounds like a one-time thing. You just got to deny self and go. But really, denying self is a process that happens over time. It just it happens over a period of, of time. It's not a one-time thing. And when you look at the definition I gave you of that, that Greek word that's translated deny, I like how it puts it because that's what it is to deny self it's over a process of time just losing sight of your own interests so you can walk out the assignment of God and that's that's how it is I know when I first started in ministry and I took up my cross so to speak and accepted my assignment in the kingdom of God as a teenager in in my late teens I remember oh man I remember it like it was yesterday and it was hard and but I did it I, I just laid down everything I had these dreams I had these ideas I had these talents I had these gifts I had all of these things that I could have done I was wanting to do and I was thinking about doing and I just laid it all down I quit stuff. Um, I felt bad because I I was committed to some things. I was and, and I had to call people and tell them I wouldn't be able to fulfill these obligations because I was just I had listen I had no assignments to preach. I had no appointments. I wasn't busy traveling. I didn't have nothing. I just gave up everything so that I could have this open availability for the Lord and whatever he wanted me to do whatever that was I didn't know what it was and I just remember that and it was hard I had it was hard to deny myself but I had this desire to just go after God and just be used by him and something was ignited in me and I could hear his voice and he was calling me and I just laid everything down the only thing that I had that was even an issue with doing what God called me to do is I, is I had a job everything else I gave up walked away from um, eventually I did walk away from my job and, and and went full time but my point is it was hard but then over the years and looking back on my ministry over the years I can see where I lost sight of those interests those things that was so you know was just there and I wanted to do I, I can see now where over over a process of time I began to lose sight of those things to the point that I don't I don't even think about those things now those things that were a temptation a desire to me then is not a desire not even a thought now I don't even think about that I don't even have any no regrets or, or don't even think about that stuff now and I lost sight of that and that's what happens that you know at first when you're stepping into the assignment of God you'll have to make a hard painful sometimes conscious decision 
to go after God. But then as you go after him, you begin to lose sight of those things. Because going after God and what he has for you just is so much greater. You know, Hebrews are... Anyway, it's, it's leaving me now. But it talks about Jesus. And it says... Uh, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame. In other words, what it was saying was, the joy that was set before him, the joy that he was seeing or thinking about, was the joy of what was going to come as a result of the cross. The joy of you and I's salvation, of our deliverance. Of us being reconciled and brought back uh, into relationship and fellowship with the Father. The joy that was going to come out of what he was about to go through caused him to endure the cross and despise the shame of the cross. That word despise means to ignore. It means to just forget about. Not even think about. And, and so... He ignored the shame of the cross, the suffering of the cross, the pain of the cross, forgot about it. It wasn't even in his mind. He wasn't even thinking about that because of the joy that was set before him. So he was so focused and so excited and so enthralled about what his assignment was going to accomplish that he didn't even think about the shame, didn't even think about the suffering. He was just, he, he lost sight of what his flesh wanted which was not to go to the cross to do it some other way to let the bitter cup pass from him he lost sight of all that because he became so focused on the outcome of this assignment and I'm telling you that if you will focus on what God is going to do through you and just let God reveal what is going to come because you have obeyed him and you begin to see what this assignment in your life the result of it and the lives it's going to change I'm telling you you will lose interest in what your flesh desired before and you will carry your cross man and you will fulfill your course and uh, you will do it with joy Okay, so I don't know. I just felt like sharing that with you. It's a process, and I'm telling you, when when you go after the assignment of God, you will begin to lose sight of your desires and your dreams, and all you'll see is what He wants to do in your life, and it will be more of a fulfillment, more of a joy than anything your flesh ever desired.